I set Kite Writer up a year ago now. Um, our launch was last June, so it seems that it's not quite a year, but that's when I first set it up. Um, I set Kite Writer up for a number of reasons. Um, firstly, I set Kite Writer up because at that particular time I was having my own mental health problems. Um, and Kite Write became my way of becoming well. Um, it gave me my focus to um, create something out of particularly dark times. And that's why I know Kite Write works, because I used it on me. Um, so it's not something I just dreamt up, I'm not some do-gooder um, that wanders around um, and just likes doing charity work. Um, I've never done charity work in my life. Um, but it was just something that I felt was really important I needed to do at some point. Kite Right was founded 3rd of April 2012, as I said. It's now a UK registered charity. Um, that was um, interesting and hard work trying to get, to say the least. Um, because it's something that when I set Kite Right up, I didn't realise, is there is nothing similar anywhere in the world. So when we, go to kite, when we went to the Charity Commission and said, I want to do a kite charity, they went, well, because they had nothing to balance it against. Um, and the closest that we came to when after the any later discussion is saleability, which is linked to the RYA, because it has the same sort of, sort of premise as we did. So our charity objectives are quite similar to saleability. And we involve everybody. I cannot think of someone that we cannot involve in Kite Right at any level, no matter what their level of disability might be. We have to adapt kiting to the individual and not vice versa. So we have to look at each individual that we work with and see how we can get them to kite. For Scotty, for example, you alright mate? Yeah? Scotty, for example, we have built him a, um, a bar. The bar is covered in Velcro to help his grip. We have trained instructors with mental health problems. Me. Um, substance misuse problems. We have people with post-traumatic stress disorder that we have trained. My whole emphasis on Kite Right is to reinvest in the people that use our service. It's pointless having able-bodied people teaching people with disabilities because they don't know about it. Jenny is the expert in teaching people in wheelchairs. I can't ever begin to have the knowledge that she has to teach people in wheelchairs any more than perhaps she may be on people with, with severe mental health problems. I want to be able to allow people with disabilities to teach in a commercial environment. I don't want to silo them only teaching people with disabilities. They should be able to go, and Jenny should have the right to go to out and teach someone as a general public, and not just teach people in this little, little package that can only teach people with disabilities. We at Cabrino, we see, yeah, we see kite surfing as a, as a freedom of expression. You know, it's a freedom to, to go kite surfing when you want, how you want, what to ride, when to ride. And we try to build tools and equipment around your riding. You know, we try not to limit people what they do on the water. And I think what Gary does at Kite Ride and what Kite Ride offers um, young people, people with, dis uh, with, with disabilities and stuff, it really enables them, it empowers them to, to be able to get on the water and find something a little bit different in themselves. Find, you know, helps them to um, um, learn something new. Helps them to learn confidence. Gives them the ability to, to interact with other people. It could be just being around other people. It could be touching a kite for the first time. It could be learning to fly a kite for the first time. It, you know, so what we love about Kite Right is their, is their drive and their passion. And it's run by um, people who have been through that experience. You know, we're kite surfers and the, our brand's run by kite surfers. And I think what Gary does as well is that everybody with Kite Right as well um, um, have gone through the pain, gone through everything what they're trying to help other people with. And hopefully you know, this, this, um, this partnership is we can give Gary something back. We, you know, for us, it's, it's about Karina, it's about actually not just about selling kites and being on the water and having fun, it's actually putting back into the community and hopefully uh, that's what we'll be able to do working with Gary and Kite Right. <laughs> You can't afford my wishes. <laughs> there you go. Woo! 
I am 31 years old and I have cerebral palsy, a condition that affects my body, not my mind. <coughs> In the summer of 2012 I started kiting with Kite Right. I had never flown a kite before as I thought it was something that someone with my level of physical disability could not do. At first I couldn't, but slowly, over a few sessions I could keep the kite in the air. Just for a few seconds. Each time I went kiting I managed to keep the kite under control for longer and longer periods. I learned to put it into a spin pulling my arms really hard. I would laugh and laugh. It was amazing fun. I can now keep the kite in the air for 10 minutes. We have made adaptations to the bar. It has velcro on and I have special gloves that also have velcro. This helps me grip the bar. Oh, oh look, we missed that one. That's my favourite. <laughs> Kiting feels amazing. I feel like I have had a workout in the gym, which is really good for me. I have made some amazing friends who don't see my disability. They see me. Scott Bunter. Drunken. Woman I have. I am always up for a laugh. I am proud to be an ambassador and a trustee. Every charity in the UK should have service users at board level. Only by doing this can charities truly represent the people they aim to support. KiteRight has this. KiteRight is run by a CEO with enduring mental health problems. As instructors with substance misuse and physical disabilities. It's all inclusive. It's unique and it's special. First question, why 100 miles worth of kiting? Um, so I started in 2010, um, and after about two years, I kind of you know, started to learn some tricks, like I was self-launching the kite, and I thought, that was good, but I, when I was going really fast and just like, nailing it out to sea, to me, that was when something just that ticked, and I thought to myself, at Branksome one day, and I think also in Australia, that if I just carried on, I wonder at the end of the day where you'd end up. And so I kind of came back and looked at a map on my iPhone and I just thought to myself, that looks like, let's try Jersey to Bournemouth, work out the distances, so on and so forth. Um, so that's really when the, the kite um, crossing was born. Um, and then 2012 was really kind of, for, for my family, a year to forget. Um, you know, uh, and on the web and I came across Kite Ride and I was reading about it. And I thought to myself, well you know, as I said, history with mental illness and depression and alcoholism, but also I love kite surfing this much, you know, it's like a perfect combination. And I honestly believe, like everyone said here, that kite surfing generally can help. Whatever issues, challenges, whatever, if you can feel that good when you're doing something that makes you feel that happy, it has to be doing good for you. And I honestly believe that that can help. And you know, if my father was a kite surfer, I don't think he'd have half of the issues that he's had for, for his life. My name's Richard Gowers. I'm chairman of the British Kite Sports Association. Um, we wanted to be involved with Kite Right because we think it's a really good charity and we all know what kite sports do for people. Um, it's a really uh, worthwhile project. Um, we see the benefits, we've done a tremendous amount of work. Um, we've done our first in instructor courses with them in terms of uh, first uh, disabled kite instructors here in the UK and we see working to, for both parties being really beneficial and really beneficial for the kite sports. No sensory feeling in my lower half. I have no sensory feeling on the, the outside of my arms. Half of my core, muscles in my core don't work, otherwise known as a weeble. So, you know, push me and I fall over. Um, I like going fast around the corners. Yeah, fast around corners and the kites, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Lean on my shoulder, just fall over. <laughs> um, different complications, I have spasm. Stab me in the leg with a knife, I'm not going to feel it. it. Has its advantages sometimes, disadvantages other times. Um, but I knew that I was happy me and I needed to do this for me. So I started handles with a power kite. Okay. My hand strength is really good to a point. Not when everything else is trying to balance and trying to work and you know try and stay as stable as possible. Um, so I made that decision. 
And I spent quite a few years trying to find the ways I can do it. Okay, can anybody help me? Who can help me? How am I going to do this? How am I going to work it out? I was lucky in terms of I had a group of guys around me who knew obviously I was female, had never seen another female kiting in Northern Ireland. Well, had seen one, but she was down south, so it didn't count. Um, <laughs> then I came along and was like, mm, can I come and try please? And they really supported me and they gave me the motivation and they gave me the assistance to actually be able to do that. And what it was is a case of a lot of people sitting down at a table going, right, how, how can I do this? I understand the body, I understand the biomechanics, and I understand what I'm going to be able to do when I'm attached to that kite, how I can stabilise my body, how I can balance. But I can't see me, if that makes sense. If you were a sprinter, I could break down your movement and I could watch you, but I can't see me. So we started to do lots of video footage and lots of different ways and had lots of different falls and lots of different crashes and lots of different exciting episodes. Um, and I just decided, well, as a team, we decided then, okay, how far can we actually take this? So we started to adapt different pieces of equipment, so different buggies, how are they gonna work? different types of safety systems, what's the best way for me to work. Initially it was a case of oh, everything's going to need to be completely different, kites are going to need to be different, safety systems are going to be, need to be different because I fly with one hand. But it turns out it doesn't need to be different. But it's taken so many years to actually discover that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, so, over the time... Oh, you're right James. So over the time, I've worked with a lot of different people who've given me that extra support. And I, throughout that time of learning myself, decided, well, you know what, I actually want to go into water sports myself. I want to go and do the things that I love doing on a daily basis with other people, not just disabled people, not just people with mental health challenges, able-bodied people as well. Because in my day-to-day -day job, I am a clinical exercise specialist. So I, my day-to-day -day job, I help people get physically active and help them get fit. If you've had a heart attack, you're going to come and see me. If you've had a stroke, you're going to come and see me. If you have a mental health problem, you're going to come and see me so I can get you physically active. Yeah, so in my day-to-day -day job, I do that already. So I want to transfer that across to Kite Right and to other people that want to come and support it. I believe that everyone has the right to free themselves. I believe everybody has the right to try and meet their goals. And I believe that everybody has the right to be as healthy and as strong as possible. But what's lacking is the education for people to be able to go and do that. Yeah, there's not that much information out there for people who are physically disabled or people who have a mental health chance to actually be able to go and do it. There's lots of maybe ideas, but there's not always things that have actually been tried and tested. Yeah, so that's kind of where I'm coming from in terms of supporting Kite Right. 